Good morning. It's Monday again, the last Monday in July, and I'm glad to interact with you again here on Facebook. My name is Melissa Ebkin, and I'm the pastor of the Iliopolis and Nyanic Christian Churches. I'm the founder of Light, Life, and Love Ministries. This is an outreach effort for those who are spiritual but not religious or who are working on their faith but don't have a church community at present. And I'm the host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast, where we encourage people to lean into the difficult experiences in life so that they can overcome them. And it is a pleasure to be with you each Monday. It really is a gift that, that you would even care to hear this and to be present. And I really appreciate all of you. So thank you for taking the time to join with me on Monday mornings. So this Monday, it was an interesting weekend. I have a thousand things to share, but I whittled down the list. I My goal is to keep this under 10 minutes so that you can connect and go on with your week and not be here all day long or just watch a portion of it. So anyway, what I learned this weekend, if you're on Facebook, you may have noticed a little bit of publicity about worship in the park on Sunday. There was videos all about it, all over the place. If you're not in Iliopolis, perhaps you didn't see it because I kept it mostly local. But anyway, we had worship in the park. Four communities, or I'm sorry, two communities, four churches got together in Iliopolis at the park. Next year, we're going to get together at the park in Nyanic. And we had a worship service. And we planned it out months ago. It was going to be amazing. Nine o'clock on a July Sunday morning before it gets too hot. The kids would be able to run and play. The adults would be able to worship and visit. There would be donuts and coffee. It was going to be great. And it wasn't going to rain. We decided that when we planned it, that it wouldn't rain that day. All right. But it rained. I mean, went up to the park early because, you know, you can never trust tech. You can do everything right, but unless you set it up and test it, you never know. Tech is weird sometimes. And so I was up at this park on Sunday morning, had everything set up, and I went there early so I could just have some time by myself. So I got everything set up. It all ran smoothly, and I had the time to just be present in the park. Now... The radar, when I woke up yesterday morning, said the rain wasn't coming till after 10. I was kind of pushing it, but all right. And as I sat at the park, I saw that front get a little closer and a little closer. And finally, it was going to be raining soon. So at 8 o'clock, my colleague and I, Steve Loeb, Steve's pastor at the Methodist Church, and he was so much fun to work with. We're going to do collaborations in the future. We just had a blast together. Anyway, we made the call that we had to pivot and go with plan B. So that's, I learned a couple lessons from yesterday, and that's what I want to talk to you about, is the lessons I learned from that experience yesterday. First is, let's acknowledge how much we have learned since March of 2020. Take a minute. Think back to the things you can do now that you didn't even know about, let alone how to do, let alone be so adept at before March of 2020. And Steve and I were planning this out. Uh, the issue of sound is a big deal. And we had such a matter of fact conversation about sound. Okay, how are we going to do it? We have, which microphones are we going to, well, which method are we going to use? Are we going to pair a microphone with Bluetooth speaker? No, he had access to a portable sound system. Okay, perfect. Which microphones are we going to use? Are we going to use XLR microphones, TRS microphones, USB microphones, uh, lapel Bluetooth microphones? And we came to a decision quickly on that, checked it off, moved on. Friends, I wouldn't have been able to have any part of that conversation two years ago. Next, how are we going to promote it? Oh, that's easy. I'll just jump on Canva. This program, if you don't know what Canva is, go right now. Canva.com. You're going to have fun. 
you're probably not going to get work done, so don't do it while you're at work. Wait till you're at home. But it is such an amazing and fun program. Anyway, yeah, just drop on Canva. I'll get a video template. We'll record something. I'll divide it up, put it into templates, and share it on social media. Easy peasy. Again, I didn't even know about this website before 2020. I don't know that a lot of people knew about it before 2020. It makes design for folks like me who don't have a design background very simple. And then, you know, okay, I got a projector, you have a screen, we'll do a PowerPoint, just embed a bunch of video and audio in it, no problem. These conversations we had in 10 minutes time and made decisions on, none of that we knew before two years ago. You have learned things in this span also. I have members in nursing homes and in assisted living that watch our live worship services, that watch them on Facebook Live or catch them later on YouTube. Did you hear that sentence? I have people in nursing homes, in assisted living, they have learned to go online, to log into these places, to catch that information, to watch the worship services, to go on YouTube and find what they're looking for. What we have learned in the last two years is staggering, and that's just with tech. So that's the first lesson. This has been a lot of things in the last two years, but it's also been a time and an opportunity where we have learned a lot of things. So lesson one, take some time and just acknowledge that. Acknowledge yourself for what you've adapted to, what you've learned, and how you're able to pivot over these last two years. Second lesson, that is about adaptability. Adaptability comes from being prepared and developing those muscles that we get when we step out of our comfort zone. Let's talk about the first one first, being prepared. Now, there's this old saying that having all my ducks in a row, I think that's helpful here. I don't know who's the first person that lined up ducks and talked to other people about it, but it is a pretty apt saying. Sometimes it is really important to have your ducks in a row. It is a lot easier to go and move a row of ducks to a different part of the pond than it is to have to round them all up to make sure you got them all, to get them together, and then try to do that. Two completely different scenarios. So when the more prepared we are, generally, the more spontaneous and adaptable we can be. Now, some of you are over planners to the point where you can't adapt. You know who you are. I see you. But generally, the more planned we are, the more spontaneous we can be. So that was one aspect of adaptability. The other aspect is when we have tried new things, when we have stepped out of our comfort zones, we develop a certain set of mental muscles and skills that enable us to adapt quickly in other situations. When we are faced with anxiety of having to adapt, our bodies, our brains tend to want to flip into that fight or flight mode. When we have developed those muscles of being uncomfortable, we can stop that from happening. We've learned how to take a breath. We've learned how to calm ourselves. We've learned how to stay present in the moment. We've learned how to troubleshoot quickly, and we've learned how to act decisively. So step out of your comfort zones, do new things, get uncomfortable sometimes, and develop that skill set so that when you do have to adapt quickly or when something catches you off guard, you've grown those muscles and skills so that you can stay in the moment, you can stay connected, you can stay the course, and you can act quickly and think clearly. So those are the two big lessons from this weekend. First, wow, the amount of stuff we've learned, staggering. And second, adaptability. It comes 
from being prepared and from the practice of stepping out of our comfort zones and developing those skills that come with that. So I hope those takeaways are helpful for you. I hope they inspire you somehow. That is my hope. If you have a lot of anxiety, I'm doing a workshop soon about, well, it's in August, Wednesday, I'm gonna put out some information about that. But if you would like to learn how to manage your anxiety and grow resilience, I invite you to come to this workshop. It's totally free. If you register for it, you're gonna get the, it's gonna be on Zoom and you'll get the recording in your mailbox even if you can't attend. So make sure you sign up for that. In the comments below, I'm gonna have the link to that. But also, it dawned on me, I never shared this with you, that if you don't like the video version, there's also a written version of this. I write it out in a blog beforehand, so I'll put the link to that if you'd rather read these things than hear these things, you can check them out on the blog. But I'm Melissa Ebkin. I hope you have an amazing week. If you need support, reach out. Bye for now, friends.